Hi, I'm Sharia Shogun. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable MySQL Remote Login on Ubuntu or Debian. I'm using Debian 9, but this tutorial should also work on Ubuntu 16.04 and later. Let's get started. First, I'm going to install MySQL Server. So, sudo apt get update. Followed by sudo apt get install mysql server mysql find. These are the packages that we need to install mysql. Now I'm going to see if mysql server is running correctly with sudo systemcdl status mariadb. You can see that it's running correctly. By default, MySQL don't have any default passwords, so what I'm going to do is set up a password for MySQL with sudo MySQL secure installation and just press enter because you don't have a password set up right now. Set root password yes. I'm just going to say 1, 2, 3. Yes, remove anonymous user, disallow root login yes. Remove test databases yes. And real privilege tables yes. So that's it. Now we should be able to log into MySQL as user root with the password 1 to 3. Yes, we can. Now I'm going to find out what IP address I have on my system with IP DDR show. You can see that it's 192.168.10.56. So what I'm going to do is try to log in MySQL from this IP address. So sudo mysql u root h the host would be 192.168.10.56. And the password 123. You can see that connection refused. So to enable remote login, we have to change some configuration. So I'm going to edit uh, etc mysql mariadb.com.d and here uh, 50 server.cnf. Okay, so this is the configuration file. You can either comment out this bind address or put 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 here. I'm just going to comment it out and save the file. Now I'm going to restart MySQL with sudo systemcdl restart mariadb. Okay. Now let's try to log in to MySQL. You can see that host 192.168.10.56 is not allowed to connect to MariaDB server. So remote login is working, but we don't have the privilege to log in from this host. So what I'm going to do is create a user with the privilege to log in to MySQL from this host. So I'm going to create a test user. So test at the rate of 192.168.10.56, identified by the password 123. And I'm going to grant all the privileges to this user. So this user can create databases, tables, and everything. Remember, if you want this user to be able to log into MySQL from any IP addresses, you can just put a person sign there instead of a host address or a host name. So now if we try to log in, you can see that we are able to log in. No problem. So that's it for this video. If you like what I do, please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching.